we're here to talk about vendor events. When you get yourself signed up for a vendor event, um, don't spend a lot of money on vendor events because for us, we can't possibly have all the cash and carry that um, people are looking for. We can't carry 400 things into the um, event. You, if you're doing cash and carry, do something really small that you know is popular. And um, you know you can have a few of those, but what I concentrate on for my vendor events is really getting people to um, make an order or signing people up to have a party. Okay, and so the first thing that I do when I see people is I, you know, try to chat them up. Not everybody's going to be interested, so you have to kind of start with the leading question: Are you familiar with Pampered Chef? If they say yes, I'll ask them what's their favorite tool and then try and just get the conversation going that way. Um, sometimes I'll ask them what do they like to make for dinner um, or what are they having for dinner tonight. So after I can chat them up, they can take a look at my table or sometimes people just come by and they look at the table. And so I've set it up with all of the holiday special bundles and um, I just brought them together and put a bow on them just to make them look, you know, kind of festive. Um, I was lucky enough to have a lot of um, ribbon type things, so that helps because you really can't wrap them up, you want people to see them. So I just put the bundles out and um, the other thing I put out is, the, is a big ticket item because it draws people in and this has been like the people who cook are really interested in the all-purpose pot and I like having the steamer insert because it gives it a little bit of um, a variety on your eyes you know and it just does tend to draw people in and they're like where did you get that what you know when did that come out and we just talk about their um, cooking needs so it's great that's a great one the other thing about your table is you do want a little bit of height that one doesn't want to stay there um, so if you have like the three um, stainless steel bowls you can stack them up and you can stick one of these guys in the little holes um, anything to kind of attract attention um, let's see. I always have a drawing on my table. I always have, and now I've been changed. I was gonna, I was doing, you know, some specific item. Now I do just do a gift certificate. It's a lot easier. It's something I can mail if they want me to mail it to them. But usually I can suck them into um, buying something more than fifteen dollars worth, and um, so that's always helpful. And maybe even hosting a show. So I'll say, if you host a show, I will double your um, gift certificate and a lot of times that will pull them in. Um, but I do print out, like sometimes they, when you go to a vendor event, they ask you to um, give them a raffle item. And I try very hard not to give a real concrete item if I can help it. So I've printed up a gift certificate and I usually, and I pair that with a, a um, one of our holiday bundle uh, uh, catalogs and also the regular catalog and my business card. And I'll put that on the table. And when it's dressed up a little bit, it's kind of enticing. Where did you get the bag? The bags are my girlfriend's house. Okay. I think that's I just tell you. Pardon it's me? Cute. It's my gift certificate. You You'll share it with us, right? So yeah, you can share. We'll put it on the training website. Where do you get the bags, Sarah? My girlfriend's my girlfriend. house. Oh, I'm lying. Uh huh. They're. And they're, oh, so they're pretty inexpensive. No, no, no. no. Oh, That's yeah. kind of, they're pretty inexpensive and they look so festive and people are drawn to that kind of thing. So I can pass that around. You can actually so mail in these bags too. Do clear you ones. use mm -hmm. that as the value yeah, of the product? Just or do you take that off their the, total at the, the end? Catalog inside? Um, if they were to host a party. So um, I give them, a, I, I'll say like you can do a, a 30, if they're hosting, think of a $30 product. Okay. So and I put it on their order, order and it's 20, a little less. Yeah. yeah, it's a little Thank less. You. I like that you have an end date on here too. Well, yeah, because you don't want it to be in, you know, forever. So I've, I've seen people looking for consultants that are no longer in the business and wanting somebody else to honor that. You right. Know? And it's so much right. good. To... Right. And I always say it's from me only. It's not from right. Pampered Chef. Mm -hmm. um, so just a few basics about setting up your table. You want a nice tablecloth. So this is... This is fabric that I got at like Joanne Fabrics, and it's a, uh, I don't even, uh, like a velour, but what I like about it is it's, it's the, 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 it's stre not really stretchy, but it's crunchy, so you can ball it up and it's not going to show, you don't have to iron it. It's not going to wrinkle. Like, I do not oh, like to iron. Smart. So, um, and then I, I got, I earned this uh, recent Yay. one, so I put that on there so people can identify me. And then for every season, I change the little pashmina thingy because I happen to get a bunch of them from a friend. So, so that's just a it's just a 
scarf. You could put any nice. scarf on there. It just dresses it up a little bit. Yeah. Last month I had a pink one for our pink oh, products. Oh yeah. And um, if I go to a temple to do a, a vendor event, I'll put a blue one on. Okay. So Hi. you know, and then I tried to choose um, my wrapping, my um, uh, ribbons. They weren't necessarily too holiday. -ish. Too holiday ish, but they're still festive <laughs> mm -hmm. um, because I do do both churches and and um, temples. Um, so I always have a drawing here. I like to ask people to enter that. I always have a little sign that says we're hiring so that if people want, I made this on red stamp, if you guys know that. Yeah. Um, and then um, I take this to my shows, but I also do it uh, to my vendor okay. events as well as to my shows. And it's just another visual like, okay, if you're gonna have a party, then you can you pick something that's in, you know, pick the date and there's something inside for you. And it's an item, it could be free shipping, it could be $2 off of, of an item, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot. If it's something that you happen to have at your house, all the more better, you can bring it to the, um, bring it as a gift to your host when you get there. So is that what's inside the envelopes? Is what yeah. they get? Okay. Yeah. Like, would you like Friday? The yeah, I would love oh, Friday. Okay. <laughs> what's inside? All right. Let's, let's see. see. What did I oh, get? Oh, what did you get? Yes. you get? Oh my gosh! I got an ice cream scoop. I think. Yay! Yay. 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 Yes. Hopefully, so she's she's got on the cream. back what it is, the price, okay. and the item number. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Very nice. Love it. And so, um, so even on, so I'm starting to do um, virtual events. So I'm going to use these the same concept on my virtual events. Love it. Show them a picture of the dates, and they can pick one, and then I'll show them what's inside. Is it live? Is it video? Are you going to do that live? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But that's a really good idea. I know, I'm, yeah. I'm loving the periscope. I, yeah. I didn't realize I was such a ham. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so on my table, I also, I just have this little sign, but what I like about it is that I also put what's in the bundles or what the names of the bundles were and how much they are. Because people are always asking me, I can never remember any item, how much it costs. So I had my little cheat sheet there. Um, and I think that, oh, and then I did, I've, I've had this um, board for a while now and I just change out the guest special and the host special, and if there's a special for joining, um, that goes. I'm, so they're I'm all in pockets. In plastic. They're yeah. all in they're pockets. All in pockets. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so she so she I just open. wanted to yes, the new one. Yeah, the top perfect. is open. Um, but then I made the mistake of actually putting the um, vendor event ones. Uh, yeah, not the vendor. Here. The um, Freezer meal workshop, it's stuck on there. Okay. And I haven't done a freezer meal workshop yet, but it's something <laughs> it's I would okay. offer. So anyway, so that's kind of it. You're free to ask questions. I think I got I Do they everything. sell those presentation boards like that? No. no. The threefold or you just Yes. Yes. Oh, they do. You oh, can yeah. get them at the dollar my, store too. Um, yeah. 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 Dollar store. I think you can get them at the dollar store. I got them at the dollar store yeah. for a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I, I think I got a little more than a dollar for them. How long do you cook the three minutes after? Oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you is, if you're not doing if you're not doing the holiday bundles, you might want to consider some kind of offer um, or like a triangular type of setup. Um, height is great, but like if you buy these two things, then you get this. Okay. Um, that's always a good way to kind of pull people in because they're like. Oh, how do I get that? Oh, we have to get these two things. Now, it doesn't have to be those two things, but you want to spend that much money right. to get that thing. So you can do it for, like, last month it was the $75 yeah. for, the, um, for the spatula, and this yeah. month it'll be $75 for a spatula, right? So, okay. I oh, my God. It looks so clean. I love yes. it. It's yeah. just... I it's absolutely would have yeah. overloaded my yes. table. I, I didn't see oh this. Oh my God. Well, and I have... I have this is a pro has been a process for me. I mean, because mm -hmm. I used to bring... So right. much. You just want yeah. to bring it all. I know. Right. I that way. And you want to see space because if it's too cluttered, no it's like it. your desk. You don't want to go near it. Right. You know? So, and it's also good, stand yeah. in front of your table. Oh, yeah. I do. Don't sit behind and wait for people to come. You have to be yeah. out there. Yeah. Don't so, play on your phone. Good. Yeah. The only, well. the only thing that I would add to it is depending on the size space they give you, uh -huh. if I'm um, participating in a fair that they allow you to um, have like an 8x10 space, I will take a card table with the Pampered Chef um, tablecloth mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. and put it like a diamond like over here. Okay. So it's, and I would have a cutting board and the manual food processor and just bring like either cucumbers. Uh, the veggie stripper, like a few things 
like it's a people trial. want it to yeah. play yeah. out. Like, yeah. right. And then and that draws really, yeah. people, like you're not really serving that food, but right. you're showing them. Oh, like I brought some zucchinis and right. you were able to do mm -hmm. the stripper, you're able to do the chop, you know, whatever yeah. you, you can wanted. do everything. Yeah. I've That's done the idea. wreath, the holiday wreath. Uh -huh. With the parsley wreath. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Draws so much attention. Really? Draws a ton of attention. Oh, cool. And you can keep that holiday wreath for a long time. You just spritz it out. Yeah. It's on the website. It's really, okay. it's I'm so cute. I'm thinking edible wreath. I'm like, no, no, no. It's a parsley no. wreath. Okay. It's 